So here we have our barium sulfate mineral or bayrite. This is the first mineral in your borates, sulfates, and phosphates mineral group on the list. Um, and the first thing that I see when I look at bayrite is the crystal form that it usually likes to grow in or the habit of growth. Um, so this one here is a really good example of something that like people call usually a bayrite ball. And um, it has this radial growth from one central node here and kind of grows out into this ball looking thing with um, a radial almost fibrous pattern here. This sample as well is really common. Um, if this were gypsum, we would call it a desert rose. And this one's gonna be a little bit harder, but this kind of sandy kind of color is also really typical. As well as this growth pattern here that's almost like bladed a little bit. Um, really similar to that dolomite that we saw in our carbonates video. And we can see here though that we have distinct crystal faces um, in a different shape than we did with the dolomite. And then we have this sample here, which is the one that I'll use probably for the rest of the video because I think it kind of sums up all the diagnostic properties of bayrite. So the cleavage of bayrite is um, really important because it has really good cleavage um, and it will be 90 degree cleavage. So unlike the carbonates where we were seeing a lot of um, rhombohedral cleavage, this has a nice step pattern. And you can see that here where we have these kind of squared off uh, cleavage planes and this is really typical you can see here that we have that nice 90 degree cleavage we're not seeing those um, oblique angles I'm trying to cover up this because I don't know if that's bay right another thing this is a transparent mineral um, so we should other than forms like this where mm, it's difficult to see based on the growth but in general forms we can see that it's not opaque like something um, like one of our sulfides or something like that. This is moderately dense, I would say, moderate to low density. Um, out of all of the silicates and things like that that we'll get to eventually, this definitely has a little bit of density to it compared to that. These kind of earthy colors as well, where we don't see a ton of bright um, colors or a lot of variety, where we have more browns and beiges. This is really typical of um, the sulfate group as well. Um, our hardness, let's do a hardness test. So in my notes, I had this at about a 2.5 to a 3.5. So based on um, these different crystal habits too, we might get a different hardness. So I'm gonna go in, let's see, let's try a penny with this one here. Give it a go. So if you'll see right there, I quite easily scratched the penny with this one. So this one's harder than a penny. And then now we would expect it to be softer than the nail though. And I powdered this really easily with the nail. So we're looking at a lower hardness, probably about three, 3.5, just a little harder than a penny. So we've got cleavage, we colored cover, or we covered color. Then we also have our luster. This usually has a vitreous luster, sometimes earthy in this case of this habit, um, but usually we're looking for that kind of glassy finish to it. This falls in the orthorhombic crystal system. However, it's difficult to see um, those kind of crystal forms that are a dead giveaway of the crystal system, especially something like this. It would be, um, more challenging based on the cleavage to make a decision. But orthorhombic crystal system, we covered the specific gravity. The streak should be white, but we'll give it a test. Let's see here. This one, yep, pretty much white. I don't know if you can see that. It's a white streak, but it powdered really readily too. Let me put it back on the purple face here. And then we have um, effervescence, which we were talking about in our carbonates. This does not effervesce um, and doesn't have any really nice crystal forms or anything like that. So bayrite, ta-da. We have a nice crystal habit with this one, radial pattern. This one, the rose, the desert rose. Um, 
this one that kind of rice pattern. And that is bayrite, our barium sulfate.